Hey world, I'm Josh. And I'm Lauren. And welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Coffee edition. Long time no see. We are here with the Burundi Carienda from Intelligentsia Coffee. There's the bag. And uh, let's see what it says on the front. Con we contributed to the Kahwatu Foundation for every pound of coffee we purchased this year from Green Co. Uh, tasting notes, uh, tangerine, black plum, and sugar cane. Uh, it says they're a direct trade partner since uh, 2015, and we are pretty close to the roast date, um, and mostly because we didn't really want to do any more that were way off. And we've got our Intelligentsia mugs. Seen those before. And you can tell that we're in a different place. This is our house now. Uh, largely explains the absence uh, from videos for a while. Just getting moving. moving and everything. And we'll see if we can keep making videos. Because now house poverty is setting in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And finding the money for expensive coffee is uh, getting a little more difficult. But we'll see what we can do. <clears throat> and uh, we'll, we'll, we will, I guess, if anyone's interested, leave a comment below. We'll try to do a little house tour once uh, we finish all the little projects to make it presentable. We've been here for about three months now. Mm-hmm. Got a couple of kittens now running around in the background, and uh, enough about us, uh, let's talk about some coffee. What you thinking about this one? Well, I think that my adding not enough beans affected it a little bit. Okay. Uh, we should mention that we are using a Breville Perfect Temp, or I think it's called uh, Brewer Now, with the gold standard setting. Uh, and it's typically used about 90 grams for the whole carafe. And uh, when we got down to this one, we had like 68 and did not adjust the water. But we've been drinking on this one. Mm -hmm. So we have... The, this one's pretty fresh in our minds because we've been yeah. drinking this one. And the, frankly, the um, word of the day is disappointing. It uh, could be better. I mean, especially for Intelligentsia, we really like a lot of their... Well, for something that costs like $21 to come to the door, it's just, it was very run-of-the-mill bland nothing special about it i think i had thought it was our kroger coffee our private selection kroger bland brand it's better than that mm -hmm. but not uh fifteen dollars better mm -hmm. or you can get a bag of that for six bucks um the private selection ethiopia yoga chef um that says more about the private selection being really good. It is a steal, no doubt about it. Um, not super sweet, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I know we're brewing it right because the machine is brewing it right. Uh, I don't really know what a black plum tastes like, but it doesn't taste like tangerine either. It tastes like... Uh, Relatively generic, uh, but high-end coffee. Uh, I get a little bit of the citrus on the back end, but that's after a while. There are hints of decent flavors hiding in there. It's just, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think this one would win any awards at any, uh, con at any contest or tasting or anything. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd pass on this one, unless it was, like, under $15 a bag. They've done better. 
Yeah. There's a lot of good coffee that they have. Yeah, it's a little painful to knock on Tallahansia, and I don't know if this uh, is a result of Pete's buying them out or not. Could be. But uh, if it is, I hope this is just a one-off and not uh, a sign of things to come. Um, but... I'm going to venture to guess it's a sign of things to come because even though it has a roasted on date, it also has a best by October 2019, which is 24th of October 2019, three months off a of roast. I think even we know that that's not really a best buy. It's not going to be as good by then, so. Yeah. Uh... I mean, three months is when we feel guilty reviewing a coffee. Yeah, definitely. So, like I said, I think this one's a pass. Um, and I don't know what the future of the channel will be. I wouldn't expect regular uploads. Uh, it's going to be sporadic uh, for a while, probably. There might be some non-coffee, non-alcohol videos along the way. Maybe we'll try some affordable foods or something because now, uh, now that we're not living in mom's basement, we don't have as much uh, expendable income anymore. So uh, our disposable income, that's what I meant. But uh, I'll show you around the house. We'll introduce you to the kittens at some point. Um... And might mix in some different stuff, maybe some woodworking. I know everybody's got to have an ultra-focused channel, but that's never really been the thing here, even though we did a lot of coffee for a long time. So, any other thoughts? No, I'm just thinking, I think one of the kitties looks like she wants to come on camera and say hello. Well... Gotta hurry up if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. We're running out of time and battery. Okay. Battery is dying. It's oh. dead. Not dead yet, but it's gonna be. Okay. So, if they don't make it, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Leave a comment. Yeah, there's one of them. Looks like it made it before the battery. This is Claro. Uh, like walnut, Claro walnut, like the wood. And the other one's Myrtle, and she's hiding over there. But, but tell us what oh, to try next. Talks. Yeah, and uh, tell us other stuff you'd be interested in seeing, uh, because we might have to stray from the coffee for a while. But thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.